Hello! Today I'm going to show you the Tone Hungry Effects Hunger Bender. As you can guess by the name, it is the Tone Hungry version of like a Tone Bender style fuzz. Real kind of uh, dirty, gritty fuzz uh, from the 60s, one of the earliest fuzz sounds. Um, it's, it's great. It's um, glitchy and and uh, gross and uh, you know and dirty and, and it's edgy and it's everything you want from that type of fuzz so let's get into some examples so the first thing you're going to notice with this pedal is it doesn't have a power input jack it's battery only um, and that makes it even more Authentic to the original, um, uh, there are fuzz purists who will only use a battery anyway, but uh, you know, the original pedals, they, they'd have batteries, and uh, so he did, uh, Juan from Tone Hungry did add a little switch that turns off the battery. So if you want to leave this thing plugged into your pedal board um, and you're worried about the battery draining, that's an awesome feature there. So the next sound we're going to do is, I guess, what people want to hear with any kind of of fuzz pedal is the fuzz all the way up. So um, here's my clean tone. I'm, I'm playing through this uh, American Standard Tele. Sorry about the playing there. <coughs> but here it is with the Hunger Bender. So pretty cool, um, you'll find that when this thing decays, depending on where your fuzz is at, it can do this, uh, it does this fun glitchy um, uh, decay thing where the, the tone kind of dies. That's part of the sound, that's part of the chaos of this pedal, part of what makes it awesome. Uh, let's see if I can get some of that. So, if you're in a band where you like to do crazy endings, where everything's feeding back and going crazy, this will give you a very dynamic type of feedback that's not, uh, it's not just the same note getting louder, it's, it's crazy, and, and you can even mess around with uh, where the fuzz knob is and get, the, the feedback will sound totally different. Uh, so, uh, yeah, let's get on to some more examples. So for this next example, um, what I've done is I've turned down the volume on the guitar um, and with, with some fuzz pedals, especially more modern ones, uh, when you turn down the volume pedal, or sorry, the volume on the guitar, um, it kind of cleans up like an overdrive. This pedal um, kind of becomes more lo-fi and a little bit more unpredictable when you turn down the volume. It's pretty cool. Um, it's just, it's something that you have to get used to because we kind of, a lot of pedals these days are trying to talk about how, how um, transparent they are and that kind of thing, but I love how untransparent this is. So we've got the, t the, we've got the fuzz most of the way down. The volume is cranked up a bit. So here's my clean tone. with the Hunger Bender. So the way the notes decay there um, is uh, kind of particular to this kind of fuzz. They kind of almost die, um, and 
it, it really could add, like if you have a part uh, in a song where you want to add something um, that's just, you know, it's not so pristine and pretty. <laughs> You can just turn down the volume on your guitar and you get that. That's the closest thing to transparent that this pedal will get. I'm gonna try that now with the neck pickup. We've been using the bridge pickup, so. So again, you get that kind of decay that sort of peters out. So just because um, when you turn the volume down on the guitar, you get that weird, uh, you know, wonky petering out sound that's so awesome, doesn't mean there's no sustain in this uh, pedal. Uh, definitely, when you turn up the uh, the guitar and you turn up the you know the uh, fuzz knob, you get a lot more uh, sustain out of it. So you can you can really have the best of both worlds. For this example, we've got the fuzz at about halfway and the volume up, and now I've gone to the neck pickup, I've got a real, a real fuzz, a real muffled sound on the guitar. You'd have to dial this back, you know, while you're playing. What you get is a really cool, um, well, I'll play for a sec without it. And with the fuzz on, So there is sustain to be had, it's just uh, you bring the sustain out with the way you set your guitar and the way you play. So it's, it's pretty cool that way. So you can find Tone Hungry Effects on Facebook. If you look up Tone Hungry Effects, um, I'll put a link on the screen. Um, basically these are handmade in Calgary, Alberta. Uh, they're great pedals, they look cool. Um, there's, uh, you know, all the thoughts gone into tone and usability. They've got several great pedals. I'm going to leave you with um, the uh, tremolo, just adding in the tremolo uh, for a bit of a, a bluesy uh, tone. Uh, here's the bypass signal with the tremolo. <laughs> Now with the Hunger Bender from Tone Hungry Effects.